here and for some reason my overlay is not going away on this one it doesn't show up when I do factorio but it's showing up on this one and now it goes away see if it comes back in the actual game no idea why it was showing up there I made that overlay and then I decided not to use it because it covers up too much of my HUD in Factorio. <clears throat> so last time we were here we were with Working with as John and finally got our own place. Picked up Uncle. Not that we wanted to. We're trying to get Abby back. Not there yet. We haven't found her again yet. Had some missions to do with. Uh, the one chick we were working with doing bounty stuff. John, let's look at up here. Uh, okay, fair lost Valentine. There's Valentine. Okay, she's not there work for us to do. I even have I have something with uncle apparently back home. That looks like it. But I want to go do some of the work with getting our garment set today. Need to go talk to the tracker or trapper which luckily he is right there don't know how he got there but he's now there but let's go see what uncle wants real quick then we will go talk to the trapper see what maybe we can get annabelle back guessing that's what he's wanting my horse. Horse! Lost Mustang and Sally due to changing over to John. So. Oh, and I also need to do the, uh, some of the challenges, too, because now I can actually go into Blackwater. I can try to do that race from Berg to Blackwater without touching water. Try to do that. 
Maybe we get to watch Bear die. Yeah, she get to bear, watch Bear die. Built this massive oil tank, it's never full. No, because we're only getting oil through that one thing. Once we find an offshore oil thing or whatever we're going to do for better sources of oil, we'll have start filling that thing up. are quiet. Now well, let's shoot a gun. How's this sound? Is that loud? Is that quiet? I might have to turn the uh, desktop game back up. Quiet-ish. Okay, hold on, because I turned that game down. Only this game that's doing it. I go into settings because I notice it's kind of quiet for me too. If I go into audio, sound volume is at max. Right there? That's a little bit louder. Are the headphones? That still looks fucking quiet. Ain't up to about there. Now you should be able to hear it. Now it looks loud as fuck. Might need to turn it down a little bit. to not have a problem with this game being quiet. I don't know what happened. Quiet as hell. Oh shit. Hear that? That was a fucking cougar. Where you at, bitch? Hey, hey, easy. I got everything I need for a black rat. Oh, that's brown rat, isn't it? I think there's one of the two rats I never finished. Where the hell's the damn rat bastard dad? Both rats are done. Good. Where is this damn cougar? Heard that bitch. Wanna know where she's at before she kills me. Ooh, that's a thoroughbred. Ok, 
gotta go check the horses. I have all the thoroughbred stuff. Paint, draft. Thoroughbred is done. We can find a punk. I want to find that damn cougar. Heard that bitch? I want to find it. That bitch is here, damn it. This on real quick. Can't sense me so well. Down a predator bait. Her ass here. Is got her. Not a perfect one, but got her before she got me. That's what matters. What kind of horse is that? get a relapse it's very serious get up or get out oh, you can be so testy what is it constipation guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins you got so sanctimonious in your old age no wonder she left you it's like rooming with the King James Bible <laughs> get up! Oh, I, I'm getting up oh no wait what did I have to tell you I went into town and oh I got, I got a little drunk Oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Charles! Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Come on, let's get off. All right. 
Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Oh, me neither. <laughs> All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <sighs> Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons, you take the slum. Now, nah, how about I take the saloons and you take the slums? Jesus. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Yeah, I agree. Let's uh let's not let him into the saloons. That would be a bad idea. All Uncle does is drink. Oh, for fuck's sake, this is going to take forever. How are you, Rachel? No idea why my horse's name is Rachel. He apparently met us here when the train got here, so... Jump on Rachel and get there a little faster. Hello. Are you cracked? Bench should be right back here. Hey! Out of the way. Hello. Can I help you today, sir? Oh, listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Huh. Indian? Yeah. A boxer. No. Nope. Sorry, mister. No. Nope. Actually, yes. He, I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out behind Saint Saturnin. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem. I'm here. Mm. Watch, watch, platinum spring I think they might be starting soon. Uh oh, that's one of those things. That's all pocket watches. Them. Enjoy the fight. Old jointed bracelet. One just because I don't know. That's World Champion card eight. I have two of them. I will head along that way. Slice that John in. Okay, so let's go see. Can I get out the front door or do I have to go out the back door? I need to have a front door. I thought he had a front door at one time. Is a fence, so back to the front door. Guess I chose the right one to go to. Where I was going. All the times I've talked to. Hell, all the times I talked to Charles, I never once heard that he was a boxer. Folks, they love a surprise, but they hate a massacre. And you are a killer. Mm. Mister. Hey, mister. Hello, sir. Watch where you're going. What took you so long? Oh, good lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Asked that first barman I met, and he told me Charles was here. <laughs> Not one of life's great mysteries, it turns out. 
We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I... I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Oh, hell yeah, I'll bet on him. Sure, I'm a gentlemen, fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not so noble savage. On my left. A ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales! And on my right, an Injun Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf! You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. You know what to do, Senor Smith. No rules. Forza, forza. What is this? Come on, Simon, hit him. What is this? This is rigged or something. That boy this. Find that boy's clock. What the hell? That looks like knockout to me. Come on, Lone Wolf. Gotta get you the hell out of here. Hey, Lone Wolf. Whoa. How? Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. It's your share, partner. We just made the bed. I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, I'll just have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Mm -hmm. Come on. This way. Thinker, my ass. Uh, my bag's on the dockside. So, what happened? You mean back then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm bit of a draftsman myself nowadays he was a good man as much as any of us could be getting sick like that has to rattle a fella uh, rattle him or I hear Jimmy give him White some kind of understanding what his life was really all about yeah that makes sense anyway i heard all of you were dead Howdy. or i might have come looking and me the same about you dutch who knows? Dead? Maybe? 
I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me. And Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss, the agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened, all those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Uh, Come over here. Now we're gonna have to kill somebody. Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. Mm -hmm. You couldn't have thrown that fight! It's never just one fight! Evidently! What are those guns they have? What? You don't have them in the high country? Adventure moves real quick. Let's go. There's a wagon up there. I'll get my bag. Okay. Mauser pistol. Don't I have a Mauser pistol? Give me that thing. I got one now. Get in the fucking wagon! Fuck, I wouldn't get in the wagon! Make him pay! You couldn't have thrown that fight! Oh, what is that? Damn it! Trying to disarm him. Evidently. What are those guns they have? What? You don't have them in the hospital? Adventure moves real quick. Here it does. There's a wagon up there. I'll get my back. Okay. Okay. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. Hold on. You see any law? Not yet. Keep your eye out. Sand and knee ain't short on police. I remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, the better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No, we can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido <laughs> Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. <laughs> Speaking of simple. On, Charles! <laughs> you boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> I 
Okay, so now we have Charles with us. Which he isn't with us when we start one, so I'm not quite sure what happens to him. That is done. Uncle wants something, and that's what's her name over yonder. Wants something. What Uncle wants. Uh, feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. What I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired two dollar whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail, I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? <laughs> it's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Well, get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house a lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. <laughs> now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All okay, right. so we got the plan to take well, the house down. What about a plan to build a new one? Now just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. Okay. On me. I need a break. Good horses. This way. Get her down! Almost! Come on! Come on! See? I told you it wouldn't be no trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? There's a fellow by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay, you keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's going to tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. <laughs> Charles, make him work. Whip Charles, him make him to. work. <laughs> yeah, right. You're going to make Uncle work? Let's go, girl. That's not possible. All right, so into Blackwater. There's Sandy. Go talk to her, and I'm guessing that's where. Ooh, we got a wanted thing too. Bounty poster we can go get. Supposed to go in there to talk to somebody about something about a house. Not sure how I'm going to order a house out of a book, but sure. See if we can find somebody to sell this. Horses. Kind of you guys. Thoroughbreds and. What are you aiming at me for? It's Fucker, I'll girl. shoot your ass. Get the fucking horse so I can see what it is. Give me your dumbass.
So Blackwater to the train store. The damn train store. Go to the trains by the train station. First off, I want to stop in here. Wanted first is all about. You look like an honest enough feller. If I could interest you in bounty work, the poster's on the wall. Lions Green. Wanted on warrant for murder and mutilation of six settlers near Manzadia Post. Member of the Skinner Brothers gang and is considered extreme. Last seen in the Great Plains area. Green is stocky and wears animal skins, bear hat, and buckskin shirt. $90 reward for the apprehension or death. Alright, so wanted dead or alive. I like that. Kill the bitch if I have it's a to. Sorry situation with them mongrel dogs, the Skinner brothers. Just when you thought Hello, this there. country had been civilized. You hear what they done up near tall trees? Might be where to look for them. If you can stomach it. I don't think you'll be bringing him in alive. But sure as hell I'd love to spit in his eye before he hung. Alright. See if we can find him. Now. Anywhere around here. That looks like a hardware store. That's a butcher. That's a tailor. That's a general store. That's a saloon. That's a newspaper. That's stagecoach. That's a mail. Tables. Domino's Photo Studio and the show. Third place we're supposed to be going. That's where we gotta go for him, so he's not far from home. That's a hotel, general store. I have no idea where the hell Uncle wants me to go. So let's go see what Sadie's up to. Probably got bounty work to do. Morning. Attack and seed. I can find this place somewhere. Sure. You, uh, you got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most <laughs> people. I guess. Yeah, funny thing. About this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed. By a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, Maybe we can go rob him back. 
Is the money good? Yeah. It's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now, come on. Mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. Of course we do. Oh, she gonna Bye, show me where Mexico is? Ride. Yes, ma'am. That's the only place it should be south of here. That new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. He's pink. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, want to talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in Saint Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But... I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who said it all. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him, but uh, not now. Come on. I don't remember the old map well enough to know how to get to Mexico. I really hope we're going to Mexico. It's been way too long since I played Red Dead 1. I want to see if they still have that in this map. There's a spot up ahead where we can see over most of the country. They'll be down there. So, James Langton, the bounty hunter, has got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever <laughs> the optimist. In other words, we're probably gonna kill the motherfucker. And take the you guy know, back. I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. We cut off here. This is the place. It's a view, all right. Whoa. 
a hell of a view. Come on, let's go take a look down in the valley. Get my uh, carcass on. Hey, we're at Armadillo. I was looking for this place. Be quicker if we both look. You got binoculars, don't you? I got binoculars, but I also got a damn carcass. Keep looking between. Here in that town. They'll be there. Somewhere. I think I see something. Yeah. There they are. Down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat? That's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? Uh, come on. Let's go follow them. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. the hell we getting down there yeah. I ain't jumping this horse ain't got wings don't want to go over that butte well no you shit north through here what are you doing huh you you talking to me or like to sorry I ain't used to having anyone with me My guess is they'll stop up ahead. We can get a better look at them. You know his thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. The canyon opens up down a way. Mm. We'll head them off there. Your chance. Yeah, they're stopping. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. Mm. I go with sneaking. Let's sneak down there. Okay, well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. You guys, blow us. Let's get closer.
And they're dumb enough to be looking the other way. You take one of them, I'll take the other. You got a throw in that? Good work. Okay, let's move. Up ahead, another one on patrol. He's mine. Damn it. I liked it better when we were sneaking. But, uh, it's your call. Alright, let's try this again. We'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay. Try not to well, fuck it up this time. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. I think I fucked it up. I stood up. Oh, nice. We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. Two guys below us. Let's get closer. Oh, maybe it was the bridge you gave us up. What are they?
He has lost this one. Fucker. Am I picking him up? What happened to women's lib? What's it look like? Let's go, let's go! Down the canyon, let's ride! Whoa. Above us, on the bridge! Take them out! I got it! Damn it. Lady, for fuck's sake, I said I got this. <laughs> you're in a gunfight and you're looting. Yes, I was looting, damn it. I'm a shit shot when I'm moving on a damn horse. Cannot shoot from the back of a fucking horse. That they're dead. Then I think we might be free of them. Ride for it. I shot plenty while I was on foot. Thank you. <laughs> ride for it. Ride. He did not shoot all of them. I, need to I shot a myself. whole bunch of them. There'll be a bucket in your cell. <sighs> I'm serious. Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, <clears throat> please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard the lady. Thank you. I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed. Kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me, then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the victim here. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? Don't listen to her. Let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. Bad dog. <laughs> That's it. How did work ain't easy, John? No. But I can see now it has its rewards. 
That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. Oh, Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hey, I won't. <laughs> But it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. Let's ride! Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, Joan. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. We brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. Hey, you! Ah, I object to this. We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. Here's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> uh. You want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well... If you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be sure. well, John. 100 bucks. Not bad for a day's pay. Come on, then. So now what do we got? Now we got... Uncle said you can buy a pre-cut house here. Alright, so now we got where we can buy the damn house from. And it's strange, it's the middle of the night and I can get a house. What is this horse doing? What the hell? It's not a time to dance. I'm supposed to go on about a house. Anyways, it's very strange that I'm going to buy a pre-built house, or pre-cut house, or whatever the hell they call it. Fill the night. Go check it out and see what's going on. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know, is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost-efficient. <sighs> Which house do you want? <laughs> Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee you're home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. You write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. You boys give me a minute. 
What are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. This Skinner's about, we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's gonna be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. I know the quickest way. Follow me. Why don't we drop off the wood first? Then go buy our tools? We already got two wagons full of wood. Say, is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash. That was all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? I suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No! Wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. All mm -hmm. right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. Now, I was about to tell you. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof. Putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying Could to you make shut my up and watch the tree line? Possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Neil's. He's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. And he knows me, so we'll see if we can get him to give you some. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Like I said, hey, I've been here before. An acquired taste. Let me do the talking. Kill the Sasquatch up yonder. Nils. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any made? 
Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils? Okay. <laughs> so Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. Just grabs the toolbox, breaks it out, puts it on your wagon, doesn't take money. All right then. Beecher's hope. Okay. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, hadn't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World needs men like you. And men like me. Oh, hopefully that means he'll be shutting the fuck up. Everyone find some cover! Fuck off. Frick. You're coming out of the woods. Shit. I got a robot. Willer, how you hold up there? Get you out of here, Flat. Damn it. Fuck. I'm trying to get the damn guy with the arrow. Fucking boat, damn. Some crazy motherfuckers. I was doing fine. How the hell was I instantly dead? Motherfucker.
For now, Mr. Devin, you okay? Yes. That the last of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They grabbed Mr. Wayne. All right, you stay here, guard the wagon. Charles, come on. <laughs> Mr. Milton, Mr. Smith, Mr. Devin, Mr. Devin, over here. Help! Help me! Let's go. Help, Help me! Shut your mouth, you them. We walked into something. Get some cover. You. They drew us in! We gotta get the win! They climbed up in the trees! High in what fucking tree? I got the guy out of the damn tree. Oh, there's one up there. Tools. Now where's Mr. Dead or in hell? Alright. Shit. <clears throat> Jesus. We gotta move fast. Come on. Let's go. Back to the road. There's some crazy motherfuckers. A lot of dead crazy motherfuckers now. Where's all the wood at? It's supposed to be in there. Oh, that's not our trailer. Alright. Let's get out of here. Oh my lord. What'd they do to him? Nothing nice. <laughs> what they do to him? Nothing nice. Well, no shit. Okay. 
John, I'm riding with you. Get us back to beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. But they're here for now. I thought this... This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. There was a caravan. A few months back, massacred. Men, women, children. Ended up like Wayne. Or worse. Uncle! 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 You useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. A lot of them? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devin back to town. Nice place for your gun. Buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. What uncle's up to? Thought I was gonna do some hunting today, but get Annabelle back. I better or Abigail back. I better get this. Those plans truck. make any sense? Oh sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Why you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says, the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig a six-foot-deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. All right. Now we're gonna build a house. Thank God I don't have to do this. Thank goodness they do it cinematically. Oh God, I gotta help. Damn it. I'm gonna sit here and watch you fuckers build a house. Now I got a hammer too. Hit that motherfucker. Seriously retarded. Why did they have to make a mini game out of it? Hammer and a nail, now nail it. 
You know somebody's gonna be bitching well, about we this song. So hard to build a little house together. In the snow of the I'm gonna have to get this off of no So you feel accomplished after building the house. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel so together. accomplished. I thought we were worried about getting this done before the rains came. Not so we could do it while the rain was here. Can we just put these nails in already for fuck's sakes? Oh, we got a floor. Oh, now we gotta pick up the damn... Oh, just hold on. I thought you were going to do this for me. I was trying to stick. Alright. Up. Lift. Can I go back to shooting people? Looking pretty good. Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail, now nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow, or the rain, or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter. I really hope I don't have to roof it. My days of roofing is We're done, together. man. I've been there, I've done that. I ain't doing no more. Roofing sucks. Oh shit, here comes the roofing. Motherfucker. I never did this kind of roofing. I did shingles. Asphalt shingles. Now how exactly are you putting them in there? And I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Now that's the house I it's remember. Now, when do we get the bar? <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you, and that is I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Now, where are you sending this to? Do you even know where she's at? Achievement unlocked. Cowboy builder. Yay, I got an achievement. Yeah, that is definitely the house I remember from one. 
Now I just need the barn I died out in front of. Oh, Get over there where them tents I are. He was... Where the hell? Hearing a lot of guns for a answer. Yeah, yeah, I am. That's for damn sure. There should be a barn right here that I walk out of and get the shit kicked out of me by a whole lot of lawmen. Why is Uncle way the fuck out here? All right, where the hell's my horse? I am not running the fuck out there. Hey, Rachel. Still don't know why your name is Rachel, but name is Rachel, so let's go. Yeah, their name is Rachel. I don't know why. See when I look at her? Well, see? Rachel. No idea. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin. So that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. It's a <laughs> fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming? Ranching? Planting something? The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so... So cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but... They taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're gonna need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fillers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. Uh, now I gotta buy him the barn that I'm going to die. Like I used to. Man, I never was that fast. In the black water. Let's go. I need to fix that fence. That fence is broken right there. Yeah. When are we gonna now, fix the this damn fence? We saw you. Thought here, some corn husk idiot, some country rube doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse. And I'm gonna rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I gotta respect him for it. Cause if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. <sighs> Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Oh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. Got a roof over your head. What are you bitching about? Furniture, I'll get you to do less work. Don't do shit now. I've never heard a horse's a horse breed named Rachel. So it's gotta be the horse's name. Ho! Who hoing for? Morgan. 
there yet. I'm run into these two idiots though. Stop taking up the whole damn road, fucker. Like oh, suck my ass. How's little Emily? Emily? Oh, I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that one. Well, an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, it's my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. Uh, it, it's great seeing you again, Al. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you, and David Geddes likes now, you. I, I, but <laughs> this man is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing, and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> well, that's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. <laughs> Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. We know the place? Ain't never been nowhere All named right, Painted the Sky. Painted Sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is round those parts, split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him, holed up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Sadie! Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Yeah? You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some, and some Californios, and some regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. <laughs> Charming to a fault. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. It isn't somewhere I'd vacation, but it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. The hell did they have me come down here for? Kill my damn horse. Got a hold of this fella I'd hired. Oh, How the hell did my horse make well. that? Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow. That was a hell of the wrong way down. Better for him. We fine, sure lady. You did the best you could. Come on, girl, get down here. You can't take the express route down like I did. Can we go now? You've gone wrong. <laughs> yeah, I think that is a mortal horse. Get through that shit. Things. I hope that's the last you see of them. 
Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. There. What's wrong this with lies. me? A lot. You wanna hear something? Obviously. I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up, and Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Ah. Oh, well, then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> now I'm an employee of a bounty. All right, I have to know. Where the hell are we going? Yeah, okay, it's easy, not far easy. off. If I've been there, I didn't know I was there. I gotta go pick up my own damn bounty. Soon. I'll do that after this one. Easy. This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be. Well, just in case. Get my shotgun. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. Ramon Cortez! We've come for you! Come calmly and nobody will get hurt! Don't fight it! You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. <clears throat> yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. That was easy enough. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. Get, get back it, up there. Uh, hell, back on your horse, dumbass. That hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. Cross up here. Come on. Alright, so we're going all the way to Rhodes to take this fucker in. Why the hell are we going all the way to Rhodes? Why would you do a thing saying something like that? What are you talking about? What did I say? Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Dad's just asking for trouble, this ain't it? This still gives me the creeps. Hitch your horse up here. Yep. Oh. Well, enough of that. Bring for 
Cortez round the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Why well, always gotta be the one picking up on you? Come on! I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch! Two hundred! A hundred dollars to kill that bitch. Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay, okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Oh shit, you know this is gonna be bad. Years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> you know this ain't gonna end well now. Because they never have me wait. You hear that? That sounds like a shoe dropping. Oh, Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. We want our friend back. You have about 10 seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let them have it, boys. Del Lomos. Shoot those bastards. Get? What was it? Come on! I jail. don't think that was good. Jail! They blew my jail apart. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, well, we brought him in. Now, pass what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Mount up. Fuck that, I'm gonna rob this bitch first. 29 cents. I stopped for 29 fight? cents. He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got <laughs> stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, yes we were. I don't like it. 
The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we'd take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know, usually. If I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Now, where the hell is Dewberry Hold Creek? Up. Down there. The fire. I'd Apparently wager we're that's here. them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. John, what are you doing? This is a good vantage point. I can pick them off of my scope from here. Up here. Come on. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. I don't there have three is. scope rifles Keep for nothing. Distance. We need to take a good look at them before we do anything. Easy. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them? Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You? Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you? I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. And shoot well. <laughs> you finally gave me a gun with a fucking scope on it, so don't worry. Hey! Damn it, Sadie. Got him.
Well, fuck. I guess I ate the wrong thing. I needed something for the outside, not the inside. <sighs> I'm coming. I shoot okay. They're still alive, ain't they? Let's see what we can do about that. I'm covering. Let Ramon run away. I would if your head wasn't in my way. I can see through this damn fog. she took one. Well, now I gotta piss. Damn it, Sadie. Stop your dying. I'll be right back. I gotta do an old man break.
Let's restart this shit. I wish I had my damn heater for this shit. I'm shooting the bastards. You killed him, you idiot. Oh. You didn't tell me I wasn't supposed to kill that one. Damn it. I was not taking a big poop. I was shooting a jackass. Oh, I was taking a piss. I was doing something. Whoa, what the hell was that? I stopped off to do a bit of break dancing. I'm sorry. Nobody to shoot. I'm on the bridge. Oh. Easy a long time oh. ago. Hey, look out. There's more of them coming. Hey! Estoy aquí! Shut your gut down now! I must love being knocked the fuck out.
We might just be. Son of a bitch. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. Hey, it's a hat I don't have. Get him on a horse. We can get out of here before the buzzards show up. What were you speaking about? A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay uh, well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Come on! It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You, you're a dead woman! And you're a dead man! The Del Lobos will not forgive this! <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you! And we will kill you! You! And anyone who is close to you! I preferred it when you was offering money. Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. The fuck, man? Get out of my way! Place. You need to get the hell out of my way. You rode right in front of me. Hey, say that again. Fucking prick. Hey, you let me go. I'll forget about it. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Hold your horse there. Don't leave us again, Ramon. So oh, come you on. Well, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse. About to be taken to San Denis to hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course. Because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't going to find much use for it in the short time you got left. Oh, damn you, woman. Damn you. Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Yeah, but now there's a big hole in the jail oh, where you're taking him. Both of you. You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're going to come for you. I promise you that. We're going to come for you. Well, I hope they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fighting, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. And we can go. Going in a jail with a hole in the wall. Sounds like a great idea. He's not going to expect us to wait around to get shot at again. They actually got the jail car here waiting on him. Hold. Get him down. The sheriff better move him quick this time. Big mistake. We Bring got him, him, sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? 
For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. All right, back to beat your soap. I still got that damn cougar skin on the back of this damn horse. And there's the barn I die coming out of. Know that barn well. Now, where the hell is Uncle? Be up there sleeping or back here? How was your back holiday? Here. I was making money. And to think, you call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. The house, the barn. Look at this place. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you both. This calls for a drink. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we've brought our four-tack to Cathead. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then all hands to see. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then our hands to see. What's got at sea we spend on shore on sweethearts and our wives. What's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives. And then my boys hoist sail for more thus passes sailors' lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more thus passes sailors' lives. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, let's break it out and then our hands to see. Yeah! Uh huh. John, so you say. Get out here! Uncle's gone! He's fine. <laughs> Let me sleep. Get out here now! Where the hell is the old bastard? Uh, that fat man will be fine. No, he won't. Skinners. You think? Of course. My guess is they went that way. But my other guess is they know we're coming after them. What choice do we have? None. <whistles> we just gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. <clears throat> well, trap or no trap, let's go. Let's get them. I tracked them to the road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. It's like we forgot about them. Should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do to try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Whoa. Up here. You see that? Blood. Dear Lord. They've gone up towards tall trees. Come on. John, look. We should agree on something. If it's really bad. This might not be about saving him. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jesus, you mean to... I mean, you can live a week without a scalp, but it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already, with only hurt to come. We get him, and we see, okay? We'll make it his call if we can. But it may be we have to decide. Okay? Okay. Hey, 
it. Did you hear something? Careful. Yeah. You think they saw us coming? I don't know. Guess we'll soon find out. We'll be better off going on on foot. Okay. Leave the horses in the trees there. Stay. To the trees. Come on. I'm right there. Going to shoot them or are we going to be quiet about them? Up there, to the right. Two Skinners. Lookouts? Probably. Take one. I'll take the other. They're down. Move. They were waiting for us. Uncle should be close. He better be. Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on. Hold. Patrol to our left. Shh. Oh, there they are. Hold it. Let him go. Easy, easy. If they come from the ranch, they'll come this way. We should have burned it while they slept. The burning's better if they're awake for it. He's old and sick, he won't last long. Then when they come, they'll come for a corpse. He was talking about Uncle. He's alive. Mm. Come on. They've passed. Let's go. Hold up. You hear that? Yeah. Wagon. There. It's dragging someone. Is it uncle? No. Some other poor bastard. Let's follow. It might lead us to the camp. <laughs> Keep on him. No! Oh, John went to kill me. He's picking up. Poor bastard's dead. If he's walking with the body, we must be close. Let's take him down before he gets to the rest. Take him, John. Okay, let's go. I think I see something. Uh-huh. Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder, take a look. <sighs> Hang in there, old man. Okay, okay. I can't see much through this mist. Can you look too? Hold on. We gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? 
Where are they? I don't care. Come on! Uh, Charles! Uh, behind you! Well, come on, let me shoot. Fuck, right, about kids. damn time. The surprise is over. We're here for you. All of you. Uncle, we'll kick you out of this. Skinner's coming in. Behind the rock. There. There. They came for the old dog. Damn it. <sighs> why the hell did I get out from cover? Because I couldn't find anybody. That's why I got out. I'm going to stay the fuck up here. Okay, that was a bad idea. Let's try that again. They're coming in from everywhere. Behind the roof. Well, hell, that was a hell of a lot better than last time. Let's get Uncle. Really? They got him okay, old man. damn near butt naked. You, okay. you look awful. You'll be okay. Those bastards. We got him. Roasting him over a fire. God, that's Looks gotta like hurt. Got here just in time. God damn it. I'll carry him. Because here come the rest of them. Quick! There's more of them. I'll cover you. Come on. Down that gully. Oh, man. On top of us. You almost bit it. To the right. You have oh. to oh. I'll deal with this. They're all over you. Fucker. Damn it! Why didn't I shoot? It wouldn't let me fucking shoot. I think these guys have been playing too much Call of Duty. Running a guy with a fucking gun with a damn knife. Killing. Not Call of Duty, damn it. Cause here come the rest of them. Quick! There's more of them. I'll cover you. 
Come on! Down that gun! Oh, damn! Up on the lawn! Now, right! We're not clear! You move! Come on! Watch yourself! Get me out of here! I got this! Apparently you don't have got this. You might as well have just said hold my beard, fucker. How low is my health? Did that fucking kill me? You fucking killed me last time. Got him? Cause here come the rest of them. Not that bad. Motherfucker. Yeah, don't try that shit again. Okay. I'm taking him up away. I'll deal with this. Fuck. The hell. I had him fucking cleared. Got him? Cause here come the rep. Ah. <sighs> Quick! There's more of them. I'll cover you. Down that gun. Oh, man. On top of us. To the right. Ah. I'll deal with this. Hold on to me. They're all over you. I got this! It's on the run! The ranchers don't leave here! Get me out of here! Stay behind me! Save your soul! I'm getting. Apple, don't let me fall, please. Get through him. Doesn't it look okay? No, it don't look okay. We're out. We ain't out till we're home. Right hard, old man. How's the back? I think it looks worse than it is. Burns don't always heal easy. Sure, but I think this will be fine. As long as it don't get infected. It's much better than I feared. Hear that, old man? This could have been worse. He's pretty weak. Yeah, I bet. 
Stay with us, you old bastard. Uh, I can't, I can't hit my back. Over here. Well, now you got something worse to bitch about than your lumbago. I don't feel good. I bet you don't. I bet you I feel, feel right feel like shit about now. Uh, Uncle. Uncle. Hey. Where? Alright. Let's get you done. You can see. I got you. I got you. Come on. Let's get him out of Thank you, boys. Don't mention it. I thought I was dead. Uh, don't get all sentimental now, old man. You know, I really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. A few days, you're gonna be just fine. You're a survivor. Easy, easy. Okay. He'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners rode down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? <sighs> yeah, exactly like we used to be. Maybe we should take up torture. <laughs> uh, we got Uncle singing instead of torture. We're gonna be safe here, John. Hmm? You, your family, you'll all be safe. I hope so. I really do. If she ever comes back. <laughs> and if. Wait, I know she will. Because I've played the first game. Uh, I must have some kind of animal. I'm shoveling shit. I'm sure, that wasn't just for my damn horse. Well, we have seed. We're we actually going to try to plant. Horn? What the hell? Oh, there's Annabelle. You. You're. <laughs> I. You always did have that fine way with words. You doing all right, son? Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? Sure. Give him some time. He'll warm up. It's quite a place you got here. It's yours. Ours. I should see about that boy. Who's my new rival? Oh, that's Rufus. He's loyal, dumb, and angry, so I reminded us of you. That's your idea of a joke, miss? I guess. Loyal, dumb, and angry. Yeah, that sounds about right. Alright, so what do we got now? We've got... Deal with Annabelle... Abigail, I can't say her name right. Jack. But, before we go deal with them, there's a bounty that needs to be dealt with. I'm gonna go deal with them. I've had about enough of these Skinner bastards. We're gonna go fuck them up a bit. Why did that not mark? 
Go, Mark. Up here. No, oh, damn it. Um. Add a marker. The fuck. Apparently, it doesn't want to make a damn mark. Oh, we're headed north. Going this way. I know it's up this direction. This road in this way. All right. Go see if we can get us about. black bear. That is what you're scared of. That's a black bear, so he'll fuck off. Alright, this guy's wanted dead or alive. Our horse here. Go see what we can do. up this way. Jesus. Who'd do a thing like this? Hello? Damn. Not here. Ew. The hell did they do to that poor bastard? That's quite nasty. I investigated, but there must be something around here they're wanting me to find. Okay, investigate the gunshots and skin. A terrible place to be going. Just here, and it didn't go too well. Shit. 
What a thing that was. <laughs> this one's still breathing. Oh, the better. Hold him. Please, please let me go. Oh, what do you think? Shall we let him go? I say we kill him. Please, please. Oh, no, he's a nice kid. Let him go. That's him right there. Let him to the pit. I'm gonna do my best to take this fucker in alive. That fucker right there, I need to. Come here, fucker. You ain't doing shit to me, fucker. Come on, bitch. I told you you weren't getting away. If I gotta shoot you, I gotta shoot you. If I can capture you, I capture you. If I can't, you're gonna have to die. Jesus. And my horse is out of whisper, whistle range. Damn it. Hopefully nobody else is after me over here. Crack this guy back through. Alright, there she is. Come on, girl, get over here. Four more of these Skinner bastards show up. Had about enough of dealing with these assholes. Where the hell's this damn horse at? Be a good girl now. All right, let's take this fucker back. Out of the tree. <laughs> Down to Blackwater. Damn, that's awful close to home. I ain't gotta listen to this bounty make a bunch of noise. Better now, so. He ain't gonna be bitching. Shot at him. I didn't want to kill him. I just wanted to wound him. Hopefully, knock him off his horse, but. And it didn't quite work that way. Finding maximum health increase to level seven. I swear it said that like a bunch of times, but 
I guess that was for me. Got one hell of a storm coming in. Had to fight zombies in that graveyard once. That was fun. Good heavens. Oh. All right, let's drop this bastard off. Done stinking up my horse. What a girl you are. Here's that Skinner, brother. What's left of him? Last green. Well, I'll be. Didn't think I'd see this one alive or dead. Throw him back out with the rest of the trash, will you? That man weren't worth spit, but here's what we're paying for him. It was a nasty business up there. It's only fair. You don't go Nine after bucks. these bounties, I'm gonna have to. There's another poster gonna be up right quick. Come back for it. All right. I'll come back when I see it. Get through this road jam they got here. Yeah. You ain't right in the head, is you? Alright. Get on back up home. I want to see something on the map real quick. Blackwater, there's Beecher's Hope. Landing. There's Armadillo. Okay. And go back to Armadillo. Here we looked over it earlier, but I hadn't seen it. Hold up. Uh, looks like something I need to pick. Take that. Back to home. I still need to fix this part of the fence. That part of the fence. At some point. I actually got cows now. What Abigail's up to. 
still alive? Unfortunately. Mm. You need anything? A new skin. <laughs> Just take it easy for a few more days. I intend to, my friend. I, I intend to. You know, boys, I, I ain't never been smoked before. But trust me, it ain't always... So you happy? I think so. <laughs> and I did good? You did good. So... <laughs> Am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. Ah, you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! Sadie! <laughs> You're alive! John, it's... Sadie Adler. <laughs> well, how'd you know she was... We've... I'm sorry, I you thought I... You well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> well, come on. <laughs> <laughs> but tell me about you, darling. No armed to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, he ain't looking for that kind of work. It took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I gonna do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's gonna do something better than this. Like what? Writing silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Really, I am. I just thought if you wanted to earn some money how many times do i gotta bury you john marston never you ain't never burying me it's legal work that i can handle there's a <laughs> there's something else micah bounty hunting is one thing but goddamn micah i heard he was up country or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family. Bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. What is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business. You know, an accountant or something. Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. Well, the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course. You want to work? Let's do it. Yes, I want to work. You ready? Follow me. We're I want the woman to stop bitching. Trees. Why are we going to tall trees again? Uh, it's nice of you to stop by and see the place. Finally. Abigail's back with the boy. You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was... It was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. Or it, asking her, at least. Oh, my. I never took you for a romantic. No, me neither. But <laughs> it's something I've thought about. And I, I think... I know. I want it. Okay. I guess I thought you were married already. Long ago. No, n not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married, it made me real happy.
We're cutting off the main track up here. My man's in need of post. Right? Yeah. So we're coming up on where he's been seen. This moron accountant, Marshall Thurwell, been trying to live like an outdoorsman. Amping out here. He's lucky the Skinner brothers ain't found him. Well, they might have. Hopefully okay. he wasn't one of the ones I just found. Hell, woman, you ran me into a boulder. Must be it. Get down. Let's take a look around. Something's been here. This... This looks... Looks like a bear. Or something came through here. <sighs> fella left in quite a hurry. Here. Oh, he was from the south. Whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If he ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him or the bear? <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> Him or the bear? Come on. He ain't here. That's that way, I'd say. Great. Damn it! I lost the trail. Can you see which way he might have gone? Uh, yeah, right there. Okay, I think I got him. Follow me. Yeah, this way. Keeps going through here. There's a cabin up here. Oh. Not much of a cabin. Hold up. I think I see something. Is that a body? See if it's him. My god. Crap. Ugh, well, that ain't pretty. Oh boy. That our fella? Maybe. But looks more like a local farmer to me. Or what's left of one. Is he gone? You, Marshal Thurwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No. I think he's gone. Come out! Come on. No shoes. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Look out! Fuck me. <laughs> That's a big fucking bear. Oh shoot the three bears! <laughs> yourself a man well it's like Abigail says that's one word for you I can't believe we didn't kill that bastard gave him something then to remember us by at least you all right John yeah ah. Just 
we always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe <laughs> it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. A family man and all. Seeing all this? Uh, I don't know if I can do it again. I'm my own man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But I'm my own woman. And I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if your ranch and your kid and your wife are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. <sighs> yeah. Fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I spend my... Who's this up here? Is that... Are you Sadie Adler, ma'am? The bounty hunter? Get off the road! Look, I got great respect for you professionally, but if that's Marshal Thorwell there, uh, me and my partner would like to split the reward. You're doing what? Get off the road! We was thinking you might need protection. I look like I need protection. Uh, me and my partner, we're dead set on splitting that reward. And if not, well, we said we was going to have to take all. Drop him! Keep up, won't you? Huh? You don't mess around, do you? Let's no. go. I don't. Them bastards was green. If we didn't get him, someone else would have. This is a cold business, ain't it? Yep. It does require a certain level of. Genesis, what? You ever think if it's right? No. I just see orders on the wall, and I try and fill them. And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, everyone is out there doing it. I guess they are. Uh, you said earlier you knew something about Micah. You gonna tell me what you know? Are you sure you want to hear about him? Ain't all that back at your ranch enough if i find him i will handle it your bounties for transport work that's your decision to bring me along or not but but micah that's something we well i Trouble there. fuck So, where were so we? fences, uh, bad. But the mica, gotcha. That's something we, well, I, I gotta do, with or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? How you doing, okay, man? okay, I know. Well, I'm hearing things, a lot of things. Still, mostly just whispers, but I think he might be pretty close. What's up? Can you get out of the oh, fucking road? When you hear something real, you bring it to me. Okay, I'll bring it to you. But you think about if this is what you really want. Everything you can get, and everything you could lose. I understand all of that. Of course I do. Here, put him down. Go on, get home to your wife. I'll let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? <laughs> no, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you. <sighs> bank debt paid 55 bucks. Now, is there a poster down there yet? No. Alright, so let's get back up home.
There's home. Home sweet home. What John wants. How you getting on, son? Uh, fine, sir. What are you doing? Reading. And, uh, playing with the dog. You wanna go fishing or something? Not particularly. I don't really like fishing. You do like eating, though, right? Cause we gotta find some food. Come on. Let's head this way to the stream. Okay, sir. For Jack, Why not you. Like that? I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you wish I was more like you? Like me? No. But let's keep going. Can Rufus come fishing? Dogs scare the fish. But if you'd like him to, I guess. So, you don't care if we don't catch fish? Yeah, I... I'm not very good at this. At fishing or walking? At talking with you. But fishing will be fun. Sure. Unless you want nothing but beans again. No. I'd like to fish. And... It'll be pretty fun, I promise. Okay. It's fine being out with you, even though I... And you, Pop. We should... Let's do more of this. Sure. I, I mean... Yes. I'd like that. Pretty countryside, ain't it? I guess. The grass and the light. There's a lot of ugly in this world, but sure as hell is a lot of beauty. Yes. You'll see it better when you get older. It's tough at your age. Just land and light. But to me, it's... It's... It's life. I... I can't explain it. Okay. What are you gonna... Be when you're older. I want to travel, see the world. That's a good idea. Then, become a lawyer and help people. That's not a lawyer. That's a. Are you laughing at me? No, never. Just. This is a real good fishing spot. Folk always say that, and hours later they've caught nothing. Ain't you just the leading authority on everything? Well, ain't it so? Well, maybe. In this case, it's true. I hear there's some real big fish in here. Big old steelheads. Hard to catch, but real good eating. Hard to catch. Get your excuses in early. That dog of yours <laughs> know he's owned by a complaining know-it-all? Come on, son. I'm sorry. No, you ain't. It's all right. Come on, let's fish. Uncle Hosea, he was the fisherman, wasn't he? That's right. I remember Uncle Arthur taking me, though. Arthur taught you how to fish now, did he? Huh, yeah. I suppose he did. That's nice. I got a bite. I got a bite. All right. Now, stay calm and start reeling them in. Not too fast. Want to set the hook in tight. He's... he's strong. Good. Now, reel him in. Stay calm. Give him a tug. Now reel. I got him! <laughs> what do you think? 
How you feel? <laughs> I don't... I feel... I don't know. Thanks, Dad. I told you this was a good fishing spot. You did. Hey. My trip with Arthur... I remember now. I picked some flowers, and a couple of men showed up. Dressed like they was from the city. No one like that's gonna show up here. Thank the Lord. There we go. Where's Rufus? One bluegill caught. Relax. He's a dog. Bluegill, some good eating. Where is he though? I don't know. I'll go find him. Rufus, come on, boy. Please tell me the assholes ain't gonna show up. Let me come help you look. These are not steelhead. These are bluegills. I'm coming, I'm coming. What the hell happened? Hey. Rufus. Rufus. Cougar got him. Rufus, no! It's a snake. I see. He bit him. Oh, snake got him. And Jack, you calm down too. Come here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Pa? Come on! Are you sucking? Dad! Rufus, no! Don't swallow it! Is it all out? Well, spit it out! He's gonna die! He's gonna die! He'll be okay. We just gotta get him somewhere warm and calm. He's gonna die. Go get the fishing rods and the fish. I'm taking the dog home. Abigail, can I get a hand? What, what's going on? Dog got bitten by a snake. Let's look after him and the boy. Grab his rug. Is it going to be okay? Jack, the dog is going to be just fine. We never should have gone fishing. Sometimes, sometimes, you just don't know how things are going to turn out. But... But the dog... The dog's gonna be fine. It's okay, son. That's done. That's Jork Jack's little pony. What is this? Elmuth? Her. Ray Ron Sabino. Ready then. That's a saddler. That's a cow. That's a walker, and that's another cow. I don't know anything about you. Horse belongs to Charles. Ah, okay. Charles's horse. That makes sense. All right, so let's get. We got over here. We got sheepses. Got chicken? We got chickens. Oh, don't let the rooster out. Look at me. Look, if if you need money, I'll get you money. 
<laughs> I'm just joking with you. Right now, this is good for me. And I know you do the same. You say the word, I'll be there. All right. Well, you should you be doing okay? Oh, I've, I've done Dogs get bit sometimes. I'll get tougher, sir. Life can be real nasty, son. Worst things are gonna happen, you know. I'll tell you what, woman. Was a damn sight more peaceful round here before you came back. You're just lucky I'm a soft touch. I should sling it out by your ear. Uh, it's walk or work, old man. I got lumbago. You'll have more than that in a oh, minute. Oh, John, tell her about my health. Do what the lady says. I've worked my fingers to the bone building this place, Abigail Roberts. Marston! Abigail Marston. Miss Marston to you. Miss Marston to you. Why you let him stay? He's actually been pretty useful in a useless sort of way <laughs> who's that no idea friend or foe we'll soon find out it's the gettys boys from proghorn ranch yeah mr milton mr milton duncan sir ma found some old furniture in the attic pa thought maybe you folks would want it as a housewarming present you know uh they send their regards <laughs> how kind they are Tell your mom, Paul, we're very touched. Where would you like the furniture? Uh, just over here. Then we can arrange. This is real kind of y'all. You saved the ranch. Paul said this is the least he could do. Well, that's about everything. <sighs> Send your paw my best regards. They brought Tell us him a barrel. He's got friends for life in me and my family. Bye, sir. Ma'am. I can't believe this. It's so kind. Sure. But there's still some more things that we need to get. How about we take a ride into town? It's been ages since we spent any time together. It has. Let's go get the wagon. And just leave this stuff out okay, here in the weather. Go. I feel like we ain't done nothing together like this since... Since, uh... Since forever? Maybe not forever, but a long time. We ain't had the time, you know? We've both been working hard. And now we got something to show for it. The ranch. This life. It's so nice, John. I hope it'll only get nicer. <laughs> May I help you, my lady? <laughs> oh, John. Hopefully without having to shoot anybody. Is there anything you want to do? You said there were some things we still needed. We can buy them from that catalog. Let's go have some fun. I know your idea of fun, John Marston. <laughs> I ain't had a drink and... Well... I left those things behind me. No, I mean... Good. Wholesome fun. Like, uh, decent folk have. We decent now? I guess. <laughs> well, decent or not, I still got some errands to run. That's fine. What would you like to do? Maybe get our portrait took, for starters? Portrait? There's a fella in town who takes photographs. You want to stare at a portrait of yourself all day long? I hate to break it to you, but you ain't that much to look at. No. I want a picture of us. Me and you. Okay? Okay, then. Sure. Is there anything else you want? I don't know. Let's just walk around and see where it takes us. I do have to be back by dinner time. Uncle Jack and Charles will manage fine without you. Hell, looking after themselves may even be good for them. <laughs> They'll starve. And that may be good for them, too. With any luck, Jack and Charles will eat uncle. Don't get my hopes up. 
<laughs> so maybe you're right. We'll stay. You know I am. Okay, then. Portrait it is. I gotta go get my picture taken. I hate getting my picture taken. Well, come on, fucker. Get that horse out of my way. But I gotta figure out how to get these horses past this electric pole I done fucked up. Try not to run over these people's fence. What this wood is here in this yard, but we're right now. John, stop lollygagging. I'm lollygagging. I'm trying to turn the fucking wagon. I hate I wagons. Let me help you down. Why are you being so courteous? I don't know. <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna head to the drapers for a minute. Won't take long, but I need to get some materials. You want to come with me or wait here? And after that, we can go get our photo taken? Yeah, after that, we can get our photo taken. All right. Let's get that picture taken. It means that much to you. It does. Today it does. You're acting kind of funny. I am kind of funny. <laughs> A different kind of funny. Am I annoying you? No. I like this version of you. It just... It just ain't you. Well, maybe I've changed. Finally? I don't know. Probably. Oh, hello, madam. Sir. Hello, sir. How can I help you? We're... We'd like to get our photo taken. Oh, photo. Yes, yes, that I can help you with. Yes. So, uh, what do we do? I'm sorry, what did, what did you want? Uh, okay. our portrait taken. Oh, well, we do that. Yes, wonderful. Handsome couple, quite something, but you need a background. A background? Yes. We have Niagara Falls. Paris by night. <laughs> we have Mount Vesuvius and its ruins. We have the open prairie. T take, a, take a look. Pick one. What do you think? Let's see the others. Just pull the lever there to release the next one. How about this one? It's dramatic, ain't it? <laughs> Let's see what else they got. This is pretty. Or spooky, maybe. Let's see everything. That's nice. It's like being back home. Was that all of them? This is, uh, mm, this is a bar. Surely there's a photograph of you in a bar already. Look, this was your idea, John. It's up to you. Now, yep. this one it is. You've seen all of them. Anything you like? Ah, this one. Wonderful. That will be simply perfect. You know, I wish I had the Congo River, but they require grass skirts. I couldn't afford them. It's just so exotic. You stay there. I'll make a pose that you feel comfortable with. Well, this is dignified. <sighs> Try to enjoy. I think I'd rather be cleaning the outhouse. Be quiet. I thought you were a cowboy and a poser. <laughs> no, I'm a poser. I learned from the best. That is true. That might be the one. Oh, I like it. How's this? There we go. Bravo! Now, give me a minute. I'm going to 
develop this for you. Wait here. Take your time. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing at all. Tough guy. Gunslinger. Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't say anything. I just posed. Shut up. <laughs> you know, you're not very nice to me. Oh, I'm nicer than you deserve. <laughs> True. <laughs> Here. Came out beautifully. <gasps> sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh, look at that face on you. Be quiet. <laughs> What do I owe you? Five dollars. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. I'll see you again. Oh, yes. He'll probably come in for a pose. He seemed to enjoy himself. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> what shall we do now? There is one thing I hadn't done. I've never been to see one of them moving picture shows. Never? No. Well, come on. Let's go do that. You sure? Of course. It's the marvel of the age. I love marvels. <laughs> okay, good. Well, let's go. Thank you. It's it's real fine doing normal things. Are you gonna get in here? <laughs> Thank you. What's playing? Something called sketching for sweetheart, I think. Oh, hello. Two tickets, please, to see sketching for sweetheart. That'll be 50 cents, please. Okay. What's it about? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Thank you again. Come on in. A mystery awaits. Now I gotta watch a damn full flick. Of a guy it's drawing a woman. It's like they're really there. Hey, I'm trying to watch this. John Marston. <laughs> That's women for you. Don't you dare, John Marston. What? I'm watching. Please. Shh. Looks so real. It's not. Don't be such a sour puss. Shh. <laughs> uh -oh. Stop it. Of work. Really? Shh. Oh my. Is it over? I think so. Come on. That's a hell of a flick. Be seeing you. All right. <laughs> we better get home. Ah. <laughs> oh. We never get out. The farm will be fine. <sighs> the farm. I love hearing that. Let's go down to the lake for a minute. The lake? Sure. <laughs> Why, you finally gonna drown yourself? <laughs> In a manner of speaking, I guess I am. <laughs> Happily so. You're acting real strange. <laughs> no, I'm not. Come on. You're a silly man, John Marston. What, a, what about Jim Milton? Oh, he's even worse. Let me help you in. <laughs> like I said, mighty strange. I like to row. <laughs> Since when? You can hardly swim. I don't plan on capsizing. I wonder whose boat this is. It don't matter. We'll have it back. I hope they don't think we're... They won't think anything. 
Don't think. We're borrowing it. Hope it don't got leaks or nothing. She's seaworthy, okay? <laughs> Relax. Look around. All I can see is a strange man rowing. I thought it was John Marston, but now I suspect he's been replaced with an imposter. <sighs> Here's good. Ain't it pretty? Will you? Will you marry me? <laughs> Get up. I am married to you. No, I mean proper. In front of God. You serious? I got this ring. I've had it for a long time. Take it. Serious? It would make me very happy if you would... We've lived a lot of lives. Let's just live this one from now on. You and me, Jack, a family, by law. John, I, I never... I didn't know it mattered to me. It didn't. But now it does. If you think this is dumb, I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up, you silly man, and kiss me. <laughs> now what? This is probably how they find him. And take him away for the first game. <clears throat> Put some clothes on, John. Future imagine. Yeah. Waiting for that other shoe to drop. No, it's coming, damn it. Looks like the dog's all right. Princess Brea rescued. Sir Galsworthy put down his sword and, and took up his plow. I love it. I truly love it. Abigail, dear, what's for dinner? <laughs> what's for dinner? Away with you, you no good parasite. You cook. Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> John, come out here. That don't sound good. Hey, John. Abigail. Sadie. Charles. I found him. I found Micah. No. I got a lead. One of his boys wanted for murdering a woman. Been seen drinking in strawberry. If we can get to him, he'll lead us to Micah. But I gotta go now. You coming? No. 
He's not coming. I will. That's your business. His business is here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll ride with you. No, I'm... <laughs> I'm begging you. No! You risk all this? For what? For Micah? All this? All this wouldn't exist if it weren't for Arthur, Sadie, and all the folks that fell. If I let him go, this place ain't no more real than... than one of Jack's dragons. I'm begging you. And I'm begging you to understand. This is it. This is... Please. Please try to... I ain't got no other choice. Keep an eye on the place for me. Of course. Please! <laughs> Let's go kill this son of a bitch, then. Come on! Let's get go get Mike and dumbass. Which one of Mike's boys is it? Cleet. Which one was Cleet? The big one or the little one? The one with the rat face. My memory is they both had rat faces. The little <laughs> bastard with the rat face, then. Him? <laughs> yeah, he'll talk. You're damn right he will. We owe this to Arthur. You think Arthur cared about revenge? I'm not so sure. Especially not at the end. He cared about stopping Micah. And that's what we're doing. I hear you're taking bounties now. And I hear you're building houses. Mm-hmm. When I'm not killing old friends. Well, nowadays I'm almost always killing old friends. Old friends and new. Ain't that right, John? Seems that way. You interested in bounty hunting, Charles? My last assistant <laughs> was put out to pasture. No, that work ain't for me. I, uh, I think I might get out of here. Go north, Canada, find a woman. Start a family, if I can. I see how that life... Well... I'd like to try it. Oh, hey, wait, John. You've given him the family book. I thought we would have inspired him to a life of celibacy and isolation. Hmm. You know, I've been thinking I might get out of here, too. Down South America, maybe? It's wild, but less mean, I guess. I'd run protection for a gold mine, or take up with a handsome revolutionary. I don't know. Something. See something else, at least. That all sounds good. Yeah, it all sounds real fine. But we got some business to take care of first. Well, that would make sense why these two aren't around for the first one. He's gonna go up okay. to Canada. Strawberry, this is it. We leave our horses by the bridge, then we find him. Gonna take off to South America. Okay, John, Charles, you take the other side of the river. I'll stay on this one. If we meet in the middle, we would have covered most of the town. If he's here, we'll get him. Okay, let's go. There. Clay! Hey, Clay! Shit. Stop that man! He's wanted for hey, murder! Hey, stop! God, stop! <laughs> Can't escape us, Clee! Ain't no point in trying! Move! Uh, Come here, friend! I don't know huh? this man! He got past! Hello, Clee! Remember us? Joe, you are gonna take a turn? Hey, 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 we're all buddies, ain't we? Sure, Sadie. With pleasure. Now, where's Micah? Micah? I ain't seen him. No, no, no. Tell me. Wanna try that again? No, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. Micah! Where? Stop, 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 stop. Where's Micah? I don't know. I ain't seen him. We fell out. And you know what? I'm bored of this. Let's hang the bastard. Boy, good idea. Oh, wait, hold on. Bring him up to the gallows. Oh, my neck! 
Quit squirming. Move, Josh. Everyone loves it hanging. Come on. <laughs> Listen! Run. Hold on! Keep moving! Stop this! You heard the lady. Get up there! No. Come no. here, you no. bastard! No. Move me! Come on! Move! Here! I want you stood right here! Still! Dog! All right, string the no-good murdering bastard up. Let's try this again. Uh, Where's Mike? Uh, no, 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 no. Where's Mike? I already told you I ain't seen him. You lie. It ain't my fault. He tried to kill me. Where's Micah? Uh, Talk, or I'll pull this lever. Talk. Talk. No, 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 no. Stop! Wait, wait, wait! We, 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 we. He, he's up in the mountains. I think he's, he's up in Mount Hagen. He got a whole gang now. Bad man. Doing bad things. I, I tried to stop him from murdering that little girl. We fell out. Honest. Please, I'm... I'm one of the good guys. <laughs> Hang him. No. No. There ain't no need for this. He's no. done. Thank you. Well done. Come on. A little rat said Mount Hagen. People actually come to watch the motherfucker hang, dude. It's a long ride. Let's finish this. Naka, we're coming for you. Yeah! That's one of them little rat bastards dead. Now let's get the real rat bastard. I still ain't sold that damn cheated or that damn skin. We all ready? This pass will take us up into the high mountains. Lead the way. There's an old watchtower up there they might be using for a camp. Where the hell is he? Hey, 
You're okay. You're okay. I will be. But go on. Go on now. Move fast. Hey. They'll come down that hill and kill us all. Come on, John. I don't want to leave them. Hey, they know we're coming now. I will be fine. I'll follow you up. I just... I just can't move fast. Okay. Come on, John. Shit. Too fine. Come on. You're bleeding pretty bad. Ain't nothing. You should sit down. I'm fine. You're dying. I'll be fine. Just sit. It's okay. I, I ain't dying. I ain't. I hope not. I ain't dying. Just go get him. I'll be fine. I just need to rest. Uh, okay. Charles, stay with her. Charles, you worry about yourself. I'll be up Look there who it is. in a minute. Ain't you got a habit of just showing up? Well, I got something to take care of, sure. Just you left, is it? Yeah. Just me. I was kind of hoping I could kill you. Likewise. We gotta be close! I'm here for you! Ah. Any request for the Undertaker? Fuck. There's a whole lot of them over there.
and they just keep coming. Here it is. Ain't you got a habit of just showing? I think I've killed just about everybody he could have with him. Yeah. Where the hell is he at?
Mm. I don't know if that's the best way to get down from up here. All right. In the snow, it's soft. Better not be on the shitter. Micah, if you're here, come out. Hello, Scarface. Did you miss me? Not much. Been a few years. <laughs> How's that, uh, mm, whore of yours? She's good. <laughs> Didn't reckon I should waste my time killing you. But I felt different. So it seems. Well, maybe after all this is over, I'll go pay her a call. Hmm? And the boy. Whatever you say. Just like old times. <laughs> Come on. You turn around and start walking. You got me. Just like old times. Hmm? All manner of folk paying social calls. Hello, son. Mm. Mrs. Adler. It's been quite a while. Now, John. Now. What were you saying? No, I can't Dutch shoot I Dutch. Teaming up once more. We got money. We got dreams. <laughs> Join us, John. Join us. Let her go. That ain't happening. Now I can't do that, John. Dutch. Dutch, come on now. You shot at me, son. You started. You betrayed me. I could say the same as you. I was trying to do my best. You? You just cared for yourself. I think differently. Join us. Join us, John. Let her go. She ain't well. I don't want to kill you, John. <laughs> Arthur saved my life. More than once. Arthur's been dead a long time. This is a new century. Dutch. Dutch. We all did our best for you. Ain't our fault. Things turned out the way they did. Dutch. Killing me. Won't solve nothing! Put down your gun, Marston! 
Say something, Dutch. Say something! I ain't got too much to say no more. He shot me. <laughs> you shot me pretty good. And I cleaned your fucking clock. Thank you. I, I, you okay? Fine. You're crazy. I hope so. Help me up. Uh, let's go get Charles. There's money. Lots of money. In the cabin. It's black water. I'll go see. Hurry up. I got a wedding I want to go to. <sighs> Holy shit. That's a lot of money. And gold. <laughs> I don't know that all that would fit in those two saddlebags, though. Until the first one, game starts. Oh, so that's it, huh? That's how they're ending this one. I was wondering where they were going to end this at. Well, hopefully they do like the last one and they'll let me, uh, Get back into finish up the hunting stuff. Go ahead and skip this. I don't need to watch all the credits. And some song that's going to get me in trouble. Better try and keep this place going. I paid our debts with that money. I. I don't want to talk about that money. No more than. It's over, Abigail. I'm sure. Then get to work on this ranch you own, raising your boy. Yes, ma'am. Are you being sarcastic, John Marston? Me? <laughs> Never. Good. Anyway, I thought you liked this place. No, John, I don't like it. I love it. It's home. Alright, so the epilogue's done, so that means there should be no more missions. That means I got nothing left but challenges and hunting for the garments, which is what I was supposed to be doing in this one. So next time we'll go hunt. Give 
finish up the garments and stuff. What is this over here? Side, whatever it is. What the hell is it? Pitchfork. Yeah, if you think I'm cleaning stalls, you're out your damn mind. That is not happening. Sorry. Alright, so I guess I'll leave this off there. And uh, next time I'll come back and actually get to doing the hunting and all that good shit that I meant to do this time. But What do you mean? I got too into English aren't brave, Jackie. No, finishing up this uh, bar in Canada, knock them all out. Epilogue, so really? Y'all have a good one. And I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.